everybody and welcome back to tonight's video and tonight I'm making a um, an urn I was uh, I was contacted and asked to, uh, to make an urn for a friend of mine and he gave me some colors and it basically uh, left me to it so with the colors that was chosen there was a cream, like a purple slash um, lilac, I used a Lumalite clear uh, clear cast on this one, not clear slow like I normally do, I used clear cast, it was in early February, so still a little bit cold, I knew it was going to be a big pour, I used 1.5 kilograms of you, um, some big pieces, some smaller pieces, um, and set them into the uh, into the mold and then mixed up 3.2 kilograms of uh, of resin and it was all in one pour it wasn't a multi pour so i was pushing the boundaries of the resin a little bit um, but again, with it being cold i kind of kind of thought well if we, even if i do get a few exothermic cracks I'll put it in the vacuum chamber, add a little bit of cream resin to it, pull that, um, pull it in there, and then pop it back into a vacuum pot, and it'll get some nice, nice lines in there. As it happened, there was only one exothermic crack in it, and it was so small, it's on the top there near the uh, near the waste block, and you could have had it. Um, in fact, it turned away. So now I'm just working this, uh, working the blank. I've got my um, my tenon on there so for when I reverse it round, and I'm just starting on working on the uh, on the bottom shape. I am using Easywood Tools mid-size negative rate uh, cutters on these ones, and this is the uh, the mid-size finisher. These negative rate cutters, they remove the material no chip out, uh, no catching, it, it's fantastic. Taking my time. This is one of the biggest resin pours I believe um, I have done. Uh, like I said, a total of five kilos. There, near enough got this, the shape that I was going for now for the bottom, and now starting to work on top. So I'm just bringing that round a little bit, and I'm going to start to uh, look at the lid portion. Right there is roughly where that little exothermic crack was. And as soon as I start to remove a little bit more material, it completely goes. We cut past it. Get better. 
Right, so now just starting to remove the material for the lid. Still with the uh, mid-size finisher there. Down, see that waste block a little bit more now as well. Um, that's just mounted on there with uh, two part epoxy um, left overnight to cure. And there's the lid starting to be uh, formed. This is the uh, mid sized finisher again, still in the negative break. All the uh, all the uh, cutters on this one were in negative break. And there's the lid, so now I'm just needing to blend the top back in. Once I do have the shape, I will part off the lid and turn that. Making small, steady cuts. When no I rush. You close by, you know my mind is torn now. I never thought it'd be like this. But like a broken record, cause we always mess it up. Even though we say we never do that, so here we go. Acting like we do, we say things that are not true, but somehow I'm still here. And now onto the sanding. So um, I started from 8 grit um, dry up to 400 dry using King's Bar abrasives. And now onto the uh, to the wet uh, wet and dry sandpaper. So I've started now from 400 where I left off with the dry and I work up to, I didn't want that bit, I work up to 400 and now we start to see a little bit. And now with the uh, Yorkshire Grit, this is the original, working that in and we're back now after that's all buffed off with the microphone. Now the outside's done, uh, apart from it will need um, a fair few coats of lacquer at the end of this, which I do use the Hampshire Sheen Professional Gloss Lacquer. And there we have the force of it. And Now with the uh, mid-size number one hollower, I did skip a little bit forward um, because I did forget to press record, so forcing a bit as you saw. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. And now that was the number one hollower. I have used the number two hollower, and now I'm onto the number three hollower just to start working around those side walls. Uh, stopping every couple of cuts in this 
just to clean it out. So I have now sanded back up to 1000 um, on the inside. Um, I have hit it wet and dry and I'm now coming in with the Yorkshire grit just to finish it off. Uh, creating the lid for this. The inserts that I'm using for the threads are from Niles Bottle Stoppers. So I purchased these, I think it was last year. There you go, just created the, uh, the recess for that now and just put them in, two part epoxy, leave them overnight again and they are absolutely fantastic in ring inserts. There you go, hope you like it, see you next time.